Hi guys, I'm Fkonies2 and this is my Red Dead Redemption Under Nightmare Let's Play. And last time we finished um the last graveyard. So if I show you on my map, um all we've got to do now is go and do up there that fort and we've done all the forts in um uh New uh, New Austin. And then we'll head over to Seth because we clear out all the graveyards and um we'll get the flowers, so it's all around here next. So the last thing to do is to get a zombie for um this guy down here, because that's what you want. So, seeing we're so close, we're just going to pop up to Gap 2 Fridge and grab the green zombie, because that's what he wants. If I show you on our gen journal, a stranger's, um, no, to we need survivors. Uh, return, no, uh, da -da -da -da. Gap 2 Fridge. See, we need to get that guy, and we also collect some flowers for that guy. Uh, Yep, and return to Seth, so we're finishing all this stuff off. So, quickly set a way marker, and we're going to grab some ammo first, seeing we're so close, and we'll be off. So, get the boxes. I never really bother with the ammo normally. Can't let me take... Oh, my God. You're joking me. They have a box, which is exactly the same, and I'm not allowed to take it. And a guy shooting at me, because I sh killed his friend in the last episode. I shot him in the head after trying to burn him to death. I wonder where the guy is. Where is he? Where is he? Uh... No. He's shooting at me from somewhere. It doesn't really matter. I think it's maybe from up there or something. But anyway, let's go. Let's call our horse. Get out our repeater. Let's change that to explosive rifle. And our undead steed as usual. And get riding. Let's go. Yes, John, let's go. And we'll grab a green zombie, make sure not to kill him, but to tie him up. Which can be difficult, because they come in really big groups. And if there's another green zombie, when you shoot them, they explode and kill the other zombies around them. Which is really annoying. So, we're going to head over here, go back to the um, entertainment and filth, and um, then we'll head over back to Blackwater. And it's the place I skipped, because I couldn't be bothered to do, because I'm kind of lazy. Where, which way am I going? Yeah, I'm going in the right direction. Up here. Yeah. Wrong place. Wrong time. Oh. Up these really steep path. But as I remember, if you've ever played Red Dead, it's the very first place you ride along as you go to um uh, that place where we were, what do you call it? Fort Mercer, that's it. Because we're really near Fort Mercer. At the moment we're in Tumbleweed, which we cleared out a while ago, I think. And it's meant to be haunted, that um, uh, big place up there, but I'm in the right place, aren't I? Yeah, it's somewhere around here. I'll ride a bit further forward. And um, just find some zombies, really. No, not a green zombie. You can fuck off. Looking for green zombies. There should be a, one or two around here. Um, can't see any. I don't want to get off and bother killing these guys. Waste of ammo. But there should be one round here. Hmm. This is the boring part. Looking for green zombie. Last time I was, I found one really quickly. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna head up this way just more. There's bound to be a few. Just around. Around about. Let's go. Hmm. Shout out! Shout out! If you see one, and I will telepathically hear you in the past. I have no idea where we could find one. Maybe we should just stick around the house until we see one, like this kind of village area. There, there should be one. There's that everywhere. No, we don't want to be in tumbleweed. We want to be in a gap to fridge. Do we, does it count? Yeah, it counts. We need to go all the way up here. Okay, we're just going to do lots of riding. All the way over to here. All the way over here. Because apparently it won't count when I last did this. Even even though it's another green zombie. You have to get a green zombie from uh, Gatu Fridge. So we'll just go over this kind of miniature cliff. Am I going in the right direction? No, I am not. Completely the wrong direction. No, I'm not going to burn the coffin. Because we've already cleared out this graveyard. 
Why, why would I even do that? It's, it's random. Why would I burn another coffin? It's not like say it's infested. You do have to go back to um, uh, graveyards now and again, but not often. Hmm. Lots of map checking. There should be one just around here. I'll, I'll head towards where that picture of the woman zombie is. Hmm. But normally there's like big groups and just over. Oh, I hear some. Yeah. There's always something. Please be a green zombie. Um, uh, I don't actually see one. But that's annoying. And I really can't be bothered to help you unless there is a green zombie. Hmm. Maybe more will come. I don't know. We're like dead in the middle of like, dead in like near Gap 2 Fridge. Just leave that guy to die, I guess. Wow, where are all these zombies? It's been like six minutes. And I bet this is going to be a boring episode that no one is going to watch unless you follow the series. Green zombie. Dear green zombie. Couldn't care less. Not going to help you, woman. Not unless you're a green zombie. But you're not. Am I still in Gap Tooth Ridge? Yeah, I'm like dead in the middle. I'll keep on going. We're finding every kind of zombie except... A uh, puke or whatever they call them. Which are like the green ones. Oh, I hear, I hear zombies. Let's get out our lasso. Oh my god. And they probably just left one out just for us. Hog tie this motherfucker. And stick him on our horse. And then we'll head back. And for some reason, he does not bite our back and kill us like they normally would. Where's our horse? The horses actually get really scared of the zombies. Just can't. I'm so slow at walking. Put the victim on my horse. Now let's get the hell out of here. And, no, come back. Don't run away with my zombie. Literally, these horses are so retarded. And... As John's in that compromising position, let's head up and way Marcus. It was a long ride. Let's go. Let's start it. And I'll try and tell you something interesting. Um, hey guys, if any of you are looking forward to my Hitman contracts, I will be doing that soon. As soon as I finish this, um, I'll start it. And uh, considering how long games are, this is actually quite a short game. And if you think about uh, what do you call it? Um, Rage. That's, that was quite long, seeing I didn't even complete the entire game. I got like most of the way, I got like halfway through, which was quite good. Am I on the right direction? Completely the wrong direction. We'll just go across here. But, um, what is it? I'm going to do Hitman contracts and I'm going to go straight onto Hitman Blood Money. So I'm going to do both of them. And then, um, I might go and do a different game, maybe Mafia 2, because I love that game. Um, I don't know why, I, I re-bought it, right? Because I thought I was going to play all the DLCs, but the DLCs were shit. No other way to put it. If you're thinking about getting the Mafia 2 demos, they are terrible. Whatever anyone says, they're really, really boring. And um, how can I do this? There's like a cliff there. Um, really boring. And there's nothing to do. Like, it's all, there's no, like, barely any cutscenes in most of them. There's one which is really fun, which is Joey's Adventure, and that's only fun for like the first mission. And then they go back to the really old, bad kind of version. I hope I'm getting the right direction. Okay. This way. This is where we go now, over the mountain. And, um, don't get them. And I was gonna play the campaign again, which I probably will at some point. But it was only like 20 quid, but still. 20 quid is quite a bit. So I might do a let's play on that just so I get my money's worth out of it. And it is a really fun game. So who knows. But I'm definitely going to do contracts and then um, blood money. And if people really want, I might consider doing um, uh, Absolution, which was my least favourite. It was just a letdown overall and um, didn't enjoy it. But back to Red Dead. And let, well, let's hit all these zombies. 
Oh, no, she jumped out the way. Imagine being a zombie and you're just, oh, I'm a zombie. I'm terrible at everything. I'm, I've been, I'm eating people, so what happens? You come around the corner, you smash into him with your horse. And let's go pretty close. I'll turn the volume up for this. Ah, oh, Mr. Marston! I see Hart has got the better of you. Stupidity got the better of me, but I felt I should help an old friend. I appreciate that, sir. Are you ready to watch the creation of magic? If you say so. Oh, wonderful! Let's put the scar into his first scene. Right over here, you can put it down here. Just wait for the next bit. Lovely, lovely. Movie making history, my friend. And as usual, wh whoever we help gets eaten. And is the guy going to come back to life? No, he's not. Unbelievable. Every single person. Keep on shooting him in the head. That is a lot of blood. Let's blow him up to make sure he's dead forever. And that's what you get for making cheap horror movies. Kaboom. So guys, this is what we're going to do next. Seeming we're only like 12 minutes in. We're going to head all the way over to Seth. But um, instead of doing a stupidly wrong ride, we're just going to head over to, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Thieves Gambit. Thieves Den. No, Thieves Landing, that's it. And we're going to do that by using a quick travel, which I don't think I've actually used yet in this Let's Play. And um, unlike where you could just use to press the select button and like use um, go around and find like wherever you want to go, use a campsite, and you can't do that anymore. You had to uh, you had to go travel to destination, and we select um, uh, where's the fuse landing? Uh, keep on going through. There we are. And we travel, and it's basically just a loading scene, really, with some really pretty cool pictures, I guess. And this will take us all the way to Thieves Landing, instantly and really quick. And um, we'll get there, and then we can head over to Seth, to say whatever Seth wants, see if he's still angry after we burned him to death. And then we will head over to um, collect the last flowers. So, call our horse. Somehow our horse travels as well, our undead horse, but who cares? And here he is, undead as usual, with no, um, uh, any, nothing inside his ribs. So, let's go. I will help you. What's wrong? I, ho I hope I didn't kill her as well. I probably shouldn't have used a shotgun then. I should have used a pistol. I think I shot them both in the head. I was I thought that might happen. I'll stick with a pistol from now on. Oops, is the only way to describe that? And we have a half moon, a creepy half moon. Um, I think we start off with a full moon. Anyway, back up here. And we'll see what Seth wants. He'll be like, what the fuck? You burned me to death. Ignore those undead wolves. Or cougars, or whatever the hell they are. And our horse will do some awesome jumps for us. Now, don't fall in the water. That is the main thing. I have not died so far, and I do not intend to start. Sounds terrible. 
He's got strippers on me. It's because he smells on there. That's why they don't eat stuff. What's that? Sorry to interrupt your party. And he's back to hey, life. John, come join us. We're having a jig. <laughs> John, have you met Mary Lou? What a crazy. <laughs> Did as you asked. And cleared out the rest of the graveyards. Doesn't seem to have done much good. Good? 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 Is dead good? Are you good? Stop with your nonsense, you annoying fool. What's going on? The world's turning, John Marston, and the moon with it. Woohoo! Day follows night, and hate follows love. Okay, you asked for it, Seth. You either stop dancing and start talking, or prepare to join Moses and the rest of these freaks. Are you constipated, John? You look very angry. You get constipated when you're angry. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> I'm warning you, Seth. Oh, I'm warning you, Seth. I'm warning you. Don't play with the undead, Seth. Don't chase treasure. Don't waste your time searching for treasure and discover only glass eye. <laughs> glass eye. Well, warn all you want, cowboy. Yes, he is. He is crazy. And the zombies still don't eat him. And like I said before, we ate him before. Well, we not didn't eat him, we shot him before. And we're going to shoot him again. So, we're going to start off by don't shooting this. Can we not shoot him in the head? Okay, we'll use a shotgun then. That always works, shoot near the head. So, like... Yeah, you want to protect your master? Well, protect this. Yay! Whack this bitch! There's this old dude. And he's dead in the water. And there's this fat bitch. And where's Seth gone? Where's Seth gone hiding? Is he in here? Bet he's in here. Nope, he's not in here. Seth has run off. And he escapes this time. He has escaped John Marston. But doesn't really matter. I didn't really care if he didn't kill him or not. And that's the way to get any survivor which won't let you kill them. Just shoot near their head with a shotgun. And um, we might as well leave it there, guys. Because it's, I know it's like a 90-minute video. So uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. I mean, like, hit that like button, guys. That's it, Sarah Ford. It's in, just do it. It makes me happy to see a video of loads of likes. And leave a comment. Just leave any old comment, what you want me to do next, um, any ideas, just your opinion. So, again, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.